Hey guys, this is Eric from ET Figure Unboxing, and in this video, we're going to take a look at the SH Figure Arts Dokuri from Naruto. Um, Naruto is hands down my favorite anime, so I'm really excited for the line. Uh, but I feel like they're giving us a little bit too slow. Like I'm, I'm saying, like you know, the releasing speed. Um, but I guess they're working on it. We're getting Gara next, and we're probably getting Sakura on next. Like depending on how well they're selling, but we should be getting that very soon. I'm really excited to see what else they're gonna make because there's just a lot of characters to make. Um, I personally want to see like Madara, um, Obito, maybe Battle Damage Kakashi, or like you know some other variants of Naruto, Sasuke, and Tachi. But anyways, um, let's talk about Rock Lee over here. So here is the left of the box, here is the right of the box, and here is the back of the box. And one thing to notice is that his packaging is like smaller than everyone else. Um, you know they're shrinking it. But anyways, um, let's bust this thing open and see what we got. All right, so here we have the figures still in there in the packaging, and I feel like they didn't give us enough accessories. Um, I feel like we're missing a face, we're missing the fits hands for the eight gate mode. Um, hopefully they can release like you know maybe Gai Sensei or um, Neji and finally give us like the fist hand or something I don't know I don't think that's gonna happen um, I guess we just have to deal with on um, what we have over here but let's check out the figure itself it still looks really good though all right so here we have the figure itself and I think it looks amazing for the most part um, the color is really bright like it pops um, but I feel like the head is a little bit big though I'm not sure if it's the head or the neck do let me know in the comments but I feel like it looks a little bit off from some angle, but you know, it still looks pretty decent regardless. And let's just take a closer look at all this detail. Um, the paintwork is really clean and I like this, you know, some shading over here and there and it looks pretty good. Um, it's basically exactly the same as the Kakashi mold, just a little bit smaller. And let's jump straight into the articulation. All right. So for the articulation, let's quickly go over from the neck down. Um, he can look, he can't really look up. He can look down. He can't really look down and he can turn. Well, the head articulation is really bad, but I guess he doesn't really need it because um, he's Rock Lee, he's only going to be fighting and he has a little bit of butterfly and you do have a swivel over um, at a bicep and you can curl about this much, so that's pretty good. And you do have the ball wrist and he can bend backwards about this much and bend forward about this much. And he does have the 2.0 hip, so um, you do have a swivel over here and if you want to do a kit, you got to like, you know... Uh, play around with the plastic over here and then you know kick like that and you can bend about this much you have side to side pivot and you do have the toe hinge um so i guess the articulation on the neck is really bad but um in terms of like you know all these movement um, for the kick um he should be able to do just fine um he sh should be at least able to do um the signature konoha senpu right let me wait does he does he go like yeah, he should he should be able to. Let's see how high he can kick. Not not as high as I hope for though. But maybe I have to play around with it a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I think that's it for the articulation, and let's jump straight into um, the accessories. All right, so first off, we have the default face, which is pretty straightforward. He's just smiling, thick eyebrow, big eyes, and it looks pretty good. All right, so next up, we have a shouting face that is staring to the right, and it looks pretty good. Alright, so next up we have the Drunken Fist expression and it looks pretty good. Um, but I don't remember him using Drunken Fist in Naruto Shippuden. Do let me know in the comments, maybe I miss a filler or something. Um, but I guess it looks pretty good. Alright, so for the interchangeable hands, he has a pair of karate chopping hands. And then we have a pair of thumb hands, which I don't really care about to be honest. And then we have a pair of style posing hands and the fingernails are actually pretty well done. Alright, so finally we have the 8 game mode. I believe Rock Lee can open till 6. And I think Bandai did a really good job on the head sculpt. Let's just take a closer look. I think they nailed it. I'm really happy with it. It looks really good. And you can interchange the, the neck as well. But I didn't do it because it looks a little bit difficult. And you can hide it anyways. Um, and let me show you guys the instruction paper. Yeah, you gotta like take that apart, put that in, you know, like just whatever. I didn't want to do it. And the leg is really easy though. You just like, you know, pull this out. And then you just plug it back in. <sighs> Alright, I think that's it for the accessories. And you do have a pair of hands um, for the 8 gate. Unfortunately, he didn't have a fist hand. I didn't really understand. Um, but let's check out some um, action poses. Alright, so first off, we have a kicking pose. Um, as you guys can see, Rock Lee can balance himself very well without a stand. And yeah, I think it looks pretty good. Alright, so next up, we have his signature kick where he's about to start his combo. Like, he kicks people up. And that looks pretty good. Alright, so lastly, we have his signature fighting stance, and let's jump straight into the size comparison. 
All right, so for the size comparison, let us start with the SH figures and Naruto figures. Um, I think they look very good together. Hopefully the line can do well so we can see more characters, but I'm supporting it 100%. I'm going all in for Naruto line. All right, so next up we have the SH figures Awakening Goku and Gohan, and look at the 2.0 hips, man. They look very, very good. And next up we have the Revoltech Spider-Man and Diamond Select Venom. And next up we have some random Kamen Riders I have around. Alright, so next up we have the SH figures Hawkeye, Kylo Ren, Joker, and Tony Stark. And lastly we have some recent Figma figures and let's jump straight into the final thoughts. Alright, so for the final thoughts, despite being a hardcore Naruto fan, um, I think the figure was just okay. Like, the articulation is there, um, the neck was a little bit bad, but that's okay. And the sculpt is really good, it's spot on, this is Rock Lee, um, it looks like he walked up from the anime. But I feel like it wasn't that fun in terms of the accessories. Um, they didn't give us the fist hands, and I feel like the expression they chose was kind of questionable. But to be honest, if you ask me, I don't know what else um, they could give us. Um, I think they did their best, but it w just wasn't... Well, it's fun, but it's just not as fun as I expect it to be. Or maybe that um, they gave us the figure a little bit too late. I don't know. I, I'm just like so distracted by like Mesco 112 and these other stuff. But regardless, I still love the figure and I'm going to support it line. But anyways, um, I think that's it from me. And do let me know in the comments what you guys think about the figure and just Naruto in general. And this is Eric. I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.